Moving along here with Summer Sunrise. Thanks for joining us here on this morning. And I'm cruising into uh, Frisco right now on Main Street at a brand new location. I'm along here with the owner, Johnny Greco. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Doing Thanks. well. Thanks. Pleasure to see you. Always glad. Tell me about this place because I've been trying the food lately since you opened up. And first of all, when did you open? Well, we opened on July 3rd. Yeah. Uh, as they say, threw yourselves right into the wolves. <laughs> right. Um, obviously, July 4th was the next day, so it was an extremely busy weekend. So busy. Uh, but we knew what we could get into and right there. You turn it around. Tell me what the renovations had to take place in this building. Because uh, what was it before and what is it now? Well, it was the, we're in the former location of Toscato's. So yeah. Of course, I used to own Johnny G's, and we were able to purchase Toscato's once Johnny G's mm -hmm. was put into a forced closure. And with that, we did a really fast flip of the restaurant, about 60 days to oh, yeah. bring the floor up, build the patio, redo the whole look of the place yeah, other than the bones. If some of you have, are, are watching have been into Toscato's and you know what that layout was like, you're going to be impressed to see what uh, Johnny or Greco's is like in here. I want to say Johnny G's because I'm so used to seeing you and associating with it because that's yeah. a really end of an era. That was always a great spot. But now, I mean, I'm so happy for you guys as well as uh, the menu items here and the bar and the whole restaurant itself is fantastic. You guys have to check it out. It's called Pastoria. Yeah. How did they get? Oh, it's a great story. So. Uh, when I was closing Johnny G's, my nephew said to my mom, hey, I want to go out to Colorado again and go to Johnny G's. And my mom goes, oh, Johnny G's is closing. And, you know, he goes, oh, man. But she tells him he's opening a new restaurant. And he goes, what's it going to be? And he, she goes, it's going to be do pizza and pasta and stuff like that. And my little 10-year-old nephew goes, it's going to be a pastaria. <laughs> like, and just my, like that. And my mom calls me, and she's like, oh, my gosh, he, he just came up with the perfect name. Your nephew called it a pastaria. And I was just frantic. And uh, I, I chewed on it for a little bit, and I was like, that really is a, a good name, because we really are about pasta yeah. and, uh, and pizza and creating this new kind of genre that's not out there, you pastaria. Bet. And sticks. <laughs> and uh, tell me about then some of your pasta dishes. What were some signature things here? Well, you know, one thing that we're real proud of uh, is obviously we're food driven. We're a restaurant. Johnny G's was a kind of nightclub mm -hmm. driven, and we use fresh pasta here. We actually source it out of Denver. It's called Papa Dill's. We're, we love it. It has, a, it has a great flavor, and it, and it never goes through the dehydration process. So when you shake that box of pasta in the grocery store, we never get that kind of pasta right. here. It's actually fresh. And when we cook it up with our you know, made-from-scratch sauces, yeah. and, and we really we, we strive to do great food here, and we think that pasta with the word pasteria you know, has to be a highlight. Yeah. And we're real proud of it. And you got to be real proud of your chef as well. And it's back in the kitchen. He's been with you for a little while, even since uh, Johnny, Johnny G's days. No doubt. He helped me open the pizzeria there back in 2010. And, and we really started to gain traction with that pizza. And then, uh, you know, he's a, he's a good friend. He's a great chef, Gavin Lewis, Chef Gavin Lewis, yeah, doing a great job. You're going to find some unique menu items as well when you come into Greco's, like the uh, Cajun uh, chicken marsala. That's yeah, good. jerk chicken marsala. J jerk, that's, that's light, sort of light rub on. Yeah. And, you know, we, we like to say, you know, you do classic Italian fare, but in a way, I, and I'm still kind of learning. Yeah. You know, we're only seven months old, but we're learning what we are. And we, I, it's American Italian because we do have a twist on some dishes, like that light jerk rub on the, the pasta or, you know, our, our – Piccatas have a little bit of OJ in them, which is a twist right. on the classic dish. So, you know, we're not going to say what maybe you're going to get in Venice or Florence, but yeah. you're going to get our take on food. And we think that's what's cool about yeah. having a restaurant. Yeah. And now real quick, how about uh, what else or what you should come in Greco's for? You have a happy hour going, lunch? We do. We do yeah. lunch every day. We open at 1130. We have a great happy hour. It starts from four, goes to six. We do that every day of the week, and you can get it anywhere in the restaurant. All right. And yeah. then dinner served until 10 p.m. every night. Yeah. And also check out their new commercial here on TVA Summit. I don't know if you see the character behind the bar there. Uh, hey, Guy. Yeah, there he is. So you're going to see a pretty funny spot coming your way on TV8 Summit. So check it out on Dining Guy, airing five times per day on this day station. John, thanks so much, man. Thanks for having us. Love the place. I think I'm going to hang out for lunch here a little bit. So Let's uh, get some food. All right, let's do that. You Mind guys job. keep doing it. That's right. All right, we're, we're, you guys keep tuning in here. So Sunrise, we'll be back after this.